if you're having infinite loading screen while launching Fortnite, here is the right video because this video is going to help you a lot. Welcome everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the issue of infinite loading screen on Fortnite. So there are only simple three steps which you can try, either one of the steps will definitely help you and let's get started. First and foremost, what you have to do is you have to go to your Fortnite directory. Once you're in the Fortnite directory, what you have to do inside here is you have to go to this Fortnite game folder, go to binaries, win64 and you're gonna find all this stuff. Inside the directory you will find two folders which says engine and Fortnite game. Inside the engine folder there's a binaries folder you have to permanently delete it. Just trust me permanently delete that and then go to the next folder which is called as Fortnite game, delete the binaries from here permanently. After you have deleted this, you just close your directory from there and go to your Epic Games Launcher, go to your library and then in here next to Fortnite you will see a word called repair. You just have to click on these three dots and then click on verify. What it's going to do is it's going to re-download those deleted files and then you can start your game. What I did here is I am just deleting all those files. Maybe it may be a possible that those files are corrupted. And if it's corrupted, so you can just delete them and then re-download it and see if the problem is fixed. If this doesn't fix, I would suggest you to do the steps like this. What you have to do is you have to go to a website which is known as malwarebytes.com. Now this website, this is a free version you can download. It's a kind of like an antivirus software which will help you to find threats on your PC and I would suggest you to simply download it and give a scan to your computer. Trust me, this is very much good and it will fix maximum of your problem. So try Malwarebytes and this is going to help you. Next up, we'll go to the third and the most important step. What you have to do is you can see your network settings. You can right click, go to open network and internet properties, click on change adapter option and then choose the network. I'm on Wi-Fi, so I'm going to choose it, go to properties and click on internet version protocol 4, click on properties and here you have to choose a DNS server. Now you have to click this, use the following DNS server address and the DNS server which you have to use is 8888 and 8448. So this is the DNS server which you can use and if this also does not work, I have an alternate DNS server for you. You can use that also which is called as 11111001. And then you just have to click this OK button for me. I'm not getting the issue. So I'm not going to click it but you can try it. This is going to work fine. So these are simple three steps which you can try. You can try it. It will help you definitely. And if it does not help you, please comment down below. I will get to you as soon as possible. So that was the video. Hope it helped you. And if it did, please don't forget to hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.